Hi, I'm Jack from the Zano Controls technical team and I'm going to show you how to install a Z-Bar remote dimming pack. I'm also going to show you how to get the very best out of your install by using three unique features. The minimum, the start and the maximum settings. The Z-Bar 1 to 10 volt must be installed with a rotary controller. If you're unsure about anything, just give our friendly team a call. Firstly, let's take a look at your 1 to 10 volt method. For those of you less familiar with it, it's not too different from your standard procedure except that you have separate DC control wires to tell the lamps what to do via the drivers. You may be installing this from scratch. If so, you will have already put in screened cable. But if you're adding a dimmer to an existing project, the Z-Bar is your new best friend. With this, you can use the existing twin and earth cable, which saves an enormous amount of time and money. Please be aware though, this only applies to the Zano Z-Bars. So, let's get started. First of all, isolate the power at the mains. Once the power's off, find the joint box and the relevant circuit. When the circuit's isolated and you're satisfied that it's safe, fix your Z-Bar securely beside the box. Now you're ready to wire it up. The Z-Bar LED has an 8-core cable which is colour-coded and numbered. Take the green and yellow cable and connect it to the earth terminal. Then take the brown cable marked 1 and connect it to the live. Next take the blue marked 2 and connect to the neutral. The grey cable, 3, is for the live feed to your lamps. For 1 to 10 volt dimming, the live feed is purely for switching the lamps on and off. The red and black cables, 4 and 5, are your DC controls. The red 4 is the positive line and the black cable 5 is the negative. We've connected the live and neutral to the drivers with twin and earth and the red and black using two core flex. Here's where those connections meet the driver. All the following drivers just connect in parallel. Finally, take the white cable marked 6 and terminate it onto the brown switch line and the purple number 7 to the other switch line. So let's connect the switch. You can use grid, module or plate mounted. Zano rotary controllers are all wired the same way. Take the brown wire and connect to the terminal labelled 6. The blue wire connects to terminal 7. Also, be absolutely sure to terminate your earth cable according to regulations. Now fix your switch back to the wall or switch box securely and safely, ensuring that all terminations are safe. Once that's done, switch the power back on and you're ready to put the dimmer into programming mode. Start by turning the lights on and clockwise for full brightness. Press again to turn off and then turn fully anti-clockwise. Press once more to turn on and the lights will flash once. This indicates that the dimmer's in programming mode. Now you're ready to set the minimum level. Turn the control to choose the right level, then release and wait for 5 seconds. The lights will now flash once more to show that it's been set. Next, it's time to set the start level. You have 5 seconds from the last flash to begin. Just use the control to select the level for the lamps to turn on, then release and wait for 5 seconds for the lights to flash again and the setting has been saved. We've introduced this feature because some LEDs simply won't switch on at a very low level. The Z-Bar LED enables you to set the lights at a slightly higher level for when you first start them. This ensures that all the LEDs get enough power to come on evenly, but then allows dimming down to the lower minimum level. This helps to achieve the very best dimming range for your install. So what about the boost level? Well, we found that some LEDs require so much energy to start up that we've added another great feature called the boost setting. If you find that the lamps do need this, simply set the start level to maximum and the boost is activated, giving the lamps an extra kickstart to get going, after which they will smoothly adjust and operate as normal. Finally, we have the maximum level. This controls the upper limit of your lamps. As before, you have 5 seconds from the last flash to begin. Select the level, then wait for the final flash and you're finished. In addition to saving these preferences, the Z-Bar will also eliminate dead travel from your controller. It will automatically adjust so that the highest level is reached at the very end of the turn for the best user experience. And don't forget, 
If you would like to change any of the levels you've set, simply follow the steps again to put the dimmer back into programming mode and readjust. To skip a setting, just wait for the 5 second flash to pass and continue on to the next stage. Easy. All of these selections will be stored in the Z bar. Adding or removing controllers won't affect them, they will even remain stored if there's a power cut. If you want to dim more lamps, you can add more Z bars to the circuit. You can also connect multiple controllers. Simply make sure you connect them in parallel to the first one. And that's it. Another fit and forget solution only available from Zano Controls.